Hello, my name is Georgie, and some of you guys have been asking me how do I macro or use Tiny Task in Anime Last Stand? Well, today I'm going to teach you the basics of Tiny Task and where to use them. Before the video starts, I do want to talk about Anime Conquest, which is a new up and coming tower defense game. You might have heard it from some other anime tower defense Roblox YouTubers, and we actually have great news. They are going to be releasing in two months, which is going to be in July by the time this video is posted. And they are going to be filled with quality of life features, and they are going to have a free to play way to obtain all the game passes. There aren't going to be any speed modifications, so there's no 2x or 3x speed because it's still early development of the game. There is not going to be any world skippers, I think they added, and it's just going to be a new tower defense game. So if you guys do want to join, the link will be in the description below for their Discord. Anyways, back into the video. So what Tiny Task is, is basically this little application that you can download onto your computer. And it basically records your entire gameplay of whatever you do. All you have to do is just press record and then it follows your movements. You know, I can go to inventory, click off of it, and then I can press record again. And then I can play play and it basically just does the thing that's that you just did. So the best way to modify your tiny task is to run it as an administrator, because if you don't run it as an administrator, sometimes it deletes 30 seconds off of your like recording and it messes up a lot. So run it as an administrator and basically all you do go to prefer or preference sorry uh you can click the speed modifications some of these are going to be in 10x speed because it's just quickly placing down the units and upgrading them i recommend putting continuous playback um recording hotkeys i usually just do it to f12 and f8 for the playback uh it's easier than just pr pressing print screen and having a screenshot every time or control shift alt p it's just easier to do it as F8 and F12. Now, I do recommend recording all your stuff in the Microsoft Roblox because every time that you do press F12 in the normal Roblox uh, player, it will have the red outline, and that means that you are recording, which just means that you're taking up more space in your files, and it's just going to be a nuisance trying to delete all of it. So I do recommend to just... You know use the microsoft version now to download tiny task all you have to do is basically go to whatever search you have click in or type in tiny task it will be usually the first link you go to downloads and then you click the exe file to whatever the current version is and that's how you download tiny task you just open it up in the files and it will give you this some people are wondering, how do you use Tiny Tasks? People just usually go to Tiny Tasks Discord servers and just download the file from there. But then they actually don't know how to like record their own if they break or something like that. And it's quite simple, actually. So I am going to demonstrate this in a um, infinite here. So I will go to Hogtown Normal and just use this loadout because it's going to be just simple. Okay, so now that we are in Hogtown, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up right here. I'm going to make sure that I can actually place wherever because these trees are sometimes annoying. And all I'm going to do is press start. I'm going to click F12. I'm going to just press retry, spam T to upgrade, put down my unit, spam T. And then I'm going to click pretty much where the retry button is. So right in here. And then I'll go to another unit, press T, uh, do another unit, press T, and then click around. And then I'm going to end the recording. So basically, when that all happens, uh, it will be placing down the units, upgrading them, and then just going to whatever uh, next unit that you have placed down. And that's basically it. Uh, I will give you guys a demonstration here. So I'm just going to kill the units that are back here. Um, like that. I'm going to try to set myself up pretty much the same way that I did. Um, so press F8. Going to place down the unit. 
and then it's going to spam retry, and then you place another unit wherever it place, and then it's going to spam retry, and then it's going to upgrade, uh, hopefully it upgrades idle, hold on, uh, it's going to place Gojo, see it upgrade Gilgamesh there, and then, and then it's going to retry. So that's basically the simplest way to do this uh, tiny task, is just place down the units, spam T, spam down another unit, press T, plus press the retry button, and then just make sure that the speed is up so you're constantly placing and upgrading as fast as you can. And that's basically what I do for infinite mode. So one, I don't get kicked out if I go AFK for t over 20 minutes and then just be... It's just, if you want to do other stuff like doing your homework, it's just easy and simple. And that's mostly what I use. I usually use Tiny Tasks to just sit down, get all the recording stuff done, and then like I'll let it play for a couple of hours while I'm doing my homework. So that's how I usually use it in Infinite Mode. I will show you guys how to use it in Raid Mode next. So I am going to come over to raids and the one that I like to do is usually the U18 map and usually uh, I do this because I get the trait rerolls and then I get the units to sell them for gold. It's just an easier way to get gold in my opinion. Uh, you can do this on any map really. It's going to like apply the same way. It's just going to be a different uh place that you're placing the units at but this is usually usually my go-to map that i go to so i will show you how i usually do my tiny tasks there now this is the team that i usually go with minus Eugen for another fire unit but again i'm just doing this as an example so i spawn in all i'm gonna do is uh take off seamless retry and what I usually do is I let the game go on and then until I get to the fail screen, which I will do right now. All right, so I've gotten to the end screen. All I would do is uh, make sure that you have it in one time speed as well. Uh, all I usually do is I click a couple of times and then I will click right here because this is the area that you usually click to retry again once you have completed the raid. So I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to load back into the map. And usually I wait about 5-10 seconds until I get to this screen. So it has been 5 seconds now. Uh, I will hold down O to go all the way back. I will click my unit manager. I will start. The first thing that I will place is my farm unit. So let the farm unit go there. I will click Benny Maru and I will set him here. And then I will set Akame uh, pretty much here. Or uh, maybe here, so it just kills the enemies faster. And I will wait for uh, 2,000 so I can get the money. Now, don't do it immediately once you get 2,000. Wait until the next wave bonus happens. I will set Shinra there. I can place my other unit, uh, my other farm unit. And then just basically spam, uh, or not spam, just click 1 on idle, click 2 on Yojin. And then click three on pretty much every other unit because they will be able to do this easily. And then I just let the recording go on until the end of the raid, which again, I will do here. Now that I have finished the level, I'm going to wait about 10, 15 seconds, like I said. So I'm going to wait until it goes to four minutes. And then I am going to press F12 and it has saved and then I'm just going to press F8 again and then it's going to hover right over the retry button and then it's going to click it in a second. Yeah, there you go. It starts clicking and then it's going to bring us back to the raid 
gonna wait a couple of seconds roll out and then it's gonna go to unit manager gonna press start and it basically just does the things that we just did now infinite and raids are the best way to get rerolls and i highly recommend using tiny tasks whenever you're about to go out for a while when you're going to be busy in the house or sleeping this is the best way to get rerolls and to get some other stuff like stat cubes and perfect stat cubes now i will be happy to make tiny tasks for people that actually want and ask for it i'm not going to make it for every story stage or legend stage or raid so it's just basically if you ask i will probably do it and hopefully this video gave you a bit more insight on how to tiny task and how to macro so if you do like this video please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and again i will see you guys in the next video goodbye